All right, we are on hole number 10. We are in the Mexican Valley Tournament. We're in the weekend round in the rookie division, and I did not, I needed to come in with at least a 14, uh, at least on the 14 track and trying to pick up one. I think you need to pick up two. I'm sure there's three 30s at the top or 30 plus. So like I didn't do myself any favors. That means I got to pick up like everything on the back. Hole number 10, what is hole number 10? We'll just play in one hole at a time. I can't worry about I can't worry about where I'm at. The whole goal is not to mess up, to put myself in the spot every every hole. Right there. Right there. Alright. Well, which way's the wind blowing? And we got a do headwind. Which is good for us. Hey, I don't need to practice. I need to go to my bag. And I want to bring in APOC. And I was bringing a thorn. I think that was it. And a Titan. The King of Balls. Alright. Three top spin. It's doing plus 10 on the drive. 1.1 times whatever the wind is divided by 1.3. And I'm pulling back to the plus one mark with three top spin. And if we are getting a headwind here, I could probably put like maybe maybe three and a quarter. Or three and a titch. Three and a smidget. All those are, that's industry jargon right there. Those are technical terms. Industry jargon. My opponent goes first. 876 games. Look at them. I've already won some stuff. I'm assuming this is a second account. If you have a main account and you start up a second account and it's got lower developed clubs where it doesn't have ball guide, watching your look, watching your own video or knowing where you're, what kind of spin you're putting on your big clubs, you can get to about the same spot with the lower clubs. The only difference is the ball guide. Some of them, some of them have a little bit of distance deal, but. Bring out a big enough ball so you can pull back from the red line. Three tops, man. Plus one. Three tops, man. Three and a smidgen. Three six. Three point six. 3.1 rings. It's 3.04, but I'm going to do 3.1. There's 3, 1. In it dead center perfect. Alright, to the cap. Plus 10 to the cap. So 1.1 times whatever the wind is. I don't think I hit it in perfect. I can't remember where I was at in my club. I think I'm at, I might be on my thorn. I gotta get used to these thorn numbers because I. this is a brand new club. I haven't used it. This is the first tournament I've used the thorn, but I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna switch and I'm gonna start using a thorn as my main short iron. See if my opponent can get it in the hole. Just a little bit, not enough. Not enough. I should have paid more attention to what they were doing. 2.4 divided by wherever my, I'm at in my club. Right, I'm right at, there's max, there's min. There's mid. I'm at max. So it's 1.8 per ring. 1.8. 1 1.53. 1 
there's a one in five, three. Oh, all that, and I hit it one ring great to the right. <laughs> I think I would have missed if I'd have hit it perfect. I was on the in-between. I think I would have been in the same exact spot on the other side of the cup on a perfect. Maybe it would have went in. It's hard to tell. That was so close. I thought when I first released that it was a perfect. And when the great showed up, I was kind of surprised it was that close. Sometimes I think it's a two ring grate, but it was actually a one ring grate, but the way it looks on there. But that right there I thought was perfect when I released it. Arr. And I even waited, I knew I was running out of time and I thought I had enough time that I could get back to the center. Because it takes it a couple seconds to get back. Arr. All right, hole number 11, hole number 11. That's par three. All right, all right. I'm doing mid club. I'm taking a grizzly and a katana. Grizzly, katana. I should be in mid club. And I'm gonna do minus 0.1. And I think I just missed it, like, Mid at minus 0.1. Try mid, <clears throat> mid grizzly. Whatever the wind is, divided by 1.1. <clears throat> My notes say minus 0.1, but it didn't work on the front. But I'm not sure I hit it perfect on the front. I didn't hit anything perfect on the front. <clears throat> the one that I made, I made on a grate. That's how far off I was. I might as well be playing without notes. They are kind of helping. I am close, but I haven't I haven't had any uh, any love yet. It's one top spin. No side spin. I don't want any side spin on it. I don't want it coming out. If it's got side spin on it. Side spin doesn't take effect until the first time it hits the ground and, and it can it can change. Like if you have top spin on it it makes that it enhances it. I don't want to I don't want any uh, spin. <sighs> Under hold it just slightly. Four five four point five 4.1 rings. One, one, one top spin. No side spin. Four, five, 4.1. I feel like I need to pull the 4.2 rings. There's 4.2. The math came out to 4.1. Oh, fuck. Oh, now it's like 4.75. Um, man, that 4.1 might have worked. Oh. It was 4.09, so 4.1. And I added one on, so I did 4.2. Close. No perfect. That's all it takes is perfect. That's all it takes. If I could hit, if I could hit a perfect, I might actually see whether or not it could go in the cup. It might. If I could hit a perfect. If I only had a brain. Hole number 12. 
what is hole number 12? I didn't drop anything now. Hole number 12. Hole number 12, par 5. My notes say APOC Kingmaker. APOC Kingmaker. And my second shot is with a uh, Grizzly or a Thorn. Depending. 5.5 backspin. Plus 20 to the cup at mid. Plus 20 on the drive. 1.2 times whatever the wind is divided by 1.3. Um, let's do the math. Let's make sure we got an APOC and a Grizzly and a Thorn. And I'm bringing a Kingmaker. I'm not sure I need the Kingmaker, but my notes say Kingmaker. So we will bring a kingmaker play. Here we go. Let's get an Albi. I need to pick up something. And I need to pick up something in all three segments and pick up something else on top of that to get myself back on track. So I, I can't go come out of the top three, the first three holes, without having picked something up. I gave myself a couple looks, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't on my game. I didn't have I didn't hit perfect for one. I could have I fuck for all I know I could have been on my game and I just didn't hit perfect, so I have no idea. I really would like to come to this hole and try one of these days with a precision ball, with a power five ball, a power five precision ball, and try and blast it out there as close as you can and try and go for it. You might get out of that sand. You might get through. You might you might. But if you bring a precision ball, you're so close. All you got to do is hit it perfect, and it'll go in the hole. And I've seen a lot of people hitting down in there. And it is 3.4. <clears throat> I'm going to move 3.13 rings. I think I was two rings off. And it's like three... I'm gonna do with this wind. I'm gonna do three top spin. Three point one three rings. There. Hey, hey. There's three on three. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if we can hit two perfect shots in a row. Bam, bam. I caught the slide and slid all the way off the tip. It was kind of bad luck. That area that's in there, you're doing your, you come in and it runs pretty flat on the bounces. And if you catch a downhill slide, you get in one of those pockets and you hit it on the downhill, it'll, instead of bouncing forward, it'll just slide off and slid right off the front of the, of the fairway. All right. Now, I don't know. My opponent is in their rough iron. So I'm either in long iron or short iron. And I'm doing five. I think I'm in long iron and I'm doing five and a half backspin plus 20 to the cup. 1.2 times whatever I whatever the wind is at mid club. That, whatever my opponent just did right there, that works. That works. <clears throat> albatross. All right, let's see if we can get double albatross. There's a man. So I'm in mid club. 5.5 .5 backspin. Three, four, five and a half backspin. Going right at it. 2.1. Two point three rings. Two three exactly. Hit in dead center perfect. Let's see if we can have let's see if we have one at least when we hit one perfect does it go in? Not quite. Needed to pull it just a little teeny bit more. Arr. That was right there, right there.
right there. Just a little close. <laughs> that's okay. Hey man, that's how it works. Excellent. I'm still trying to figure it out. Hole number four. Hole number 13, right? Hole number 13. My notes, I haven't scratched out. I think I have, I'm playing a Grim Reaper. Let me pick a Grim, let me make sure I have my Grim Reaper bag on. Let's go look at the hole. If this is the, this is, I am playing a, and actually I think I'm in Guardian, to be honest with you. I think I'm in my Guardian and I'm in Minimum Club. And my Guardian, I'm looking on my notes here. My Guardian's 1.5 per ring. And I'm playing, the club that I'm playing is 1.5 per ring. I'm playing, I was playing at 50% at 1.5. So those balanced each other out and it was just the wind. And that wasn't enough. So where I'm at right now is 1 to 1 plus 10% plus 0.1. So let's see which way the wind's blowing. Alright, so it's 1.1 uh, times the wind divided by 1 plus 0.1. Is that right? That is right. That is absolutely right. And I'm using a katana with a with a guardian. And I think it'll give me I think there's enough room on a day like today for me to work the wind out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not sure which hole I made on the front where I hit it. 75,000 rings great and it still went in two rings six rings I mean anything that's not perfect is is she's it's way off <laughs> for whatever reason and it's how much you have to pull like what the pull is here but like hitting off the pad and trying to do the bounce that he bounced down there I am like way off Let's go backspin and stick it. Call it a day. It's 2.6. 2.96, three ranks. And it was max backspin. One left hand side spin. Thanks for putting my opponent's stuff right in my way. I like it. Two, six, three rings. I'm going to push those rings out. If I can get lined up with the wind. There's one, two, three rings. Hitting it dead center perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this one to go in the hole. <laughs> that close. <laughs> that close. That, that close. Arrgh. We're working on that's the first one I've hit in there are perfect I think all week not close dag nabbit perfect All right, what hole, what hole are we on now? Dang it. I've been close. I've been giving myself looks, but I haven't been getting any luck for them to draw. That's the deal. You gotta have a little bit of luck on your side as well. If you can't be good, be lucky. Hole number 15, is this, is this hole 15? My notes say Berserker. 
All right, I haven't, I have not gotten on yet. I'm just gonna take a berserker. If you, if I can't get on with a damn berserker, I can't get on. And I'm gonna quit thinking, and I'm gonna just do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. My notes say honor bust. But what you don't want to do is clip the trees on the right, or excuse me, on the left, or get caught in the trees on the right. I got lucky on the front and was able, and I had a path to get out, and I didn't have to go around them. But I could have easily, I could have easily been screwed, and I didn't have a really good path. <clears throat> I did have a shot, and I didn't hit it perfect. Of course, I don't think I hit any of my, even my rough shots in the front. I didn't hit perfect. Got a precision ball. Nice. <clears throat> and didn't look like it had enough curl on it. It looked like it had the distance, but not enough curl. fairway there. Four, five. I'm going to do four rings. And that's like two rings on the inside. I might, this first bounce might make it. I have a shot at it. Uh, overshot it. Somebody and somebody mentioned that I was on this hole and my opponent hit the sign and bounced off the sign and ended up on the green and had a putt. But their second shot, they ended up behind the sign and they couldn't get on the green and had to do it and was like, what was the deal? Like from their perspective, did it look like it hit the sign and was up there and all they had to do was make a putt and then their next shot, they were stuck behind the sign? Or was it some glitch replay thing or what was the deal? What was the deal on it? I have no idea. And I, ha I haven't gone back and watched the video, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I think it was a replay glitch. A 4.2 divided by 16 is a quarter of a ring. How much did that move me off? Yep, that's about right. to have made that winner winner chicken dinner that was low hanging fruit and I didn't pick it up all right I'm trying to go straight forward on this one and let's think this hole right here I'm taking an apoc and a berserker my second shot I was using a sniper I'm taking the same exact stuff this particular hole. Hole number 15, let me make sure here. Let me make sure, hole number six. Hole number six, I'm doing plus 20 on the drive. 1.2 times whatever the wind is divided by 1.3.
I always put two in. So when I say it's 1.2 times the wind divided by 1.3, I put a two in and then I go back when I get that equation and I erase the two. So my marker right now, my cursor is sitting in between a times and a divide and all I have to do is plug in a number. Four point eight four forty three four point five rings four point five. in the dead center perfect and I had a little bit of overpower on it I had enough on there that it wasn't making the needle go any faster there is a rough bump you can do out there but if you're trying to hit in the clear you kind of hit too far you hit past the rough bump if you clip the rough up there and you're trying to come in on this line and clip the rough and just bleed out you've got a rough bump shot but if you're trying to really kind of get some distance going forward you take yourself out of the hunt you really want to be right about here for the rough, for the rough bump on the shot not where I'm at I think where, where I'm at it might still be there but I've been looking at the shot going straight at it and it's sniper mid club plus zero to the cup But I used a Grizzly on the front and I needed to do like plus 20. So I might follow that lead if I'm in my Grizzly range. I am in my Grizzly range. I'm at max Grizzly. So 1.2 times 2.7 divided by 0 0.9, 3.6 rings. Three point six rings. There's three, six. Hitting it dead center, perfect. Let's see if we can get even close. <laughs> He's just a little off. Just a little off on all of these holes. Not quite pulling it enough. Arr. And I did extra pull there because I did it at 0.9 per ring instead of one per ring. It's it's a maxed out Grizzly. And with a power five ball, I think it might be one per ring, but I did 0.9 and 20%. And that's the rough bump. If you're If you're at the right angle there, you can see where it's starting to widen out and it gets in that wider area, you can you can get over here on this corner where you can get around the bend and work the bend so you can work different wind angles to try and avoid having to pull over the sand. One ring gray to the right. And it hit the rough, excellent. Excellent. And we were both close, but no cigar. Arr. All right. They would have won the shootout, though. In the hole. It's getting so dark out here where I'm at that I can't see my notes now. can't see my calculator it's charging how much do I have on my 
I, I have enough. I think I have enough to get me through the round. Maybe. Poll number 15 is in the bag. I have not picked up anything on the back. I am not, uh, I am not getting anywhere ahead of the game. All right. Oh, man, that's a tough wind. I really need to practice this hole. I almost feel like I need to practice. This could ruin my round. I'm doing a really dangerous shot here, and that wind means I have to pull off. I'm doing a Grim Reaper. Feels like I need to do <clears throat> two times the wind divided by 1.5. I think that's where I'm at in my club. 1.5 per ring. I'm in my Grim Reaper. Five and a half backspin. Two times the wind. Whatever the wind is, times two divided by 1.5. That's what I'm going to do right now. I want to make sure I have a bag with a Grim Reaper. Let's get that bag up and running. And I also need to have a navigator. Let's see, that's a power one ball. Let's do power. Let's see if I have anything that cuts the wind down. Or I have more than one. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, I do have one of them. I do have one of these right here. I'm going to use that. I only have one of them. Let's cut the wind down as much as we can. And still stick with the power one ball with the... Because uh, I don't think I'm using any spin. Five and a half back spin, straight up. Here we go. Whatever the wind is, two times whatever the wind is divided by 1.5. Let's hit a perfect. And get in the hole. Get in the hole, ball. Come on. Let's get one drop. Let's get one drop where I hit the shot perfect and it goes in the hole. It was like it was planned and not a two ring grate or a one ring grate that goes in the hole. And everything that I have hit perfect misses. It's not, it's not as painful when you hit something and, it's, and you don't hit a perfect and it doesn't go in. I mean, it's painful, but... When you hit a perfect and it doesn't go in the hole, then it's really painful. Especially because some of the greats that I've hit, they were in such a position that I think if I would have hit it perfect, I would have missed. Like I would have did like on some of the holes that I've done here where I've just smoked the cup. I would have, I would have been really close to it, but I would have missed it on the other side. Just a little off like plus two or something, some mythical number. Yeah, that's freaking right there, man. That's like a plus point one. <laughs> Whatever they pull, just, just the hair, just a hair. Three, four, five, and a half backspin. Two point seven is three point six rings. There's one, two, three, six. Hitting it dead center perfect. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in. Oh, you rat bastard. Slight under pull. Is that right? No, that was a slight over pull. At the 2.0, I was doing 85. I was doing 1.85, but the last time it wasn't enough, so I upped it to 2 instead of going to like 1.95 or 1.9. 
I went to a round number and I over pulled it slightly. It was probably like 1.95 or something. It's right there. I gave myself a look at it. That was the deal. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. It's a draw. Hole number 17. Are we on? I'm, shit, I'm on hole number 17 already. APOC and a katana is what my notes say. APOC and a katana. Hole number 17. APOC and a katana. And I'm trying to hit to right here and I'm using a thorn to get in the hole. APOC and a katana. I was doing plus 20 on the drive. One, two times the wind divided by 1.3. Here we go. Number 17. Let's make sure we got an APOC and a, and a thorn. APOC and a thorn with a kingmaker. Eh, it's not really going to matter. I'm going to take a kingmaker. I don't think I'm using any spin. I'm using spin on the drive, but I'm not using any spin on the second shot. I was doing, and I, I don't think I hit it perfect on the front. And I was doing a plus 25, and it was right there. We'll see. We'll see what the deal is. I go first. The wind is 3.9. I'm going to move it 3.6 rings. And I think I had... Do I have all the top spin on? I did. I pulled back a little from the red line. Got up here where I was two rings off so that I was just running down the fairway. 3.6. There's 3.6. And then dead center perfect. No overpower, no nothing. All right, this next shot I'm hitting at 25% to the cup times the wind divided by wherever I'm at in my club. Max backspin. I was for a while hitting at max club, but I think I upped the ball and I'm now more towards the mid. And so max is 1.8 and mid is 2.4. So that's a six point swing. So half a six is three. So that would be 2.1. So if I was in three quarter club, it would be 2 1 instead of the 2.4, so I'm going to keep track of that because I may hit it at 2.1. And then I have it noted 2.1 and I have it circled. There's max. There's min, so there's mid. So I'm kind of, if I do max backspin, 2.1 per ring at 20. Two point nine divided by two point one. It's one point seven two rings. If you can get lined up. One seven two. Hit it dead center perfect. <laughs> and it hit the flagpole. I wanted it to go behind and go in. I was on. I was on it. It was on the flagpole track. Arr. <laughs> That's funny. I would have had my caddy pull the flag. That is that is a feature that they could put in here where you can pull the flag. 
like there would be some benefits because sometimes you hit the flagpole and the only thing otherwise you would have just flew right over the hole the only thing that made it go in was you hit the flagpole man everybody's getting drops but me I don't really deserve them. I haven't practiced. I haven't done a lot of playing this week. I have shot some videos and done some stuff, but I haven't really played. Hole number eighteen. What I'm, what I will, what I will be the most proud of for myself as a player is if I can get through this hole right here and I hadn't dropped a shot in this round off the minimum score. Like we're just trying to pick shots up. Which way is the wind blowing? It's going to determine the whole deal here. That wind is going with us. So if we can't get this done with a berserker, we can't get it done. That's what they say at home. And I think that bag right there might just do the trick. That, might, that bag might just do it. All right, what do I have for my notes? Plus 20 on the drive. 1.2. It is really dark out here now. <laughs> and I think, okay, so my notes say plus 40. It says plus 10 to the cup, and then it says maybe plus 40. And I think on the front, I did a plus 40. And I still don't think that was enough. We will see. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Henry. Henry. I don't know if it's just because, like, I'm... Like, there are certain times when, like, certain angles, like, I like to pan way up high so that you can see a shot, and you can see where the red line is, and you can see where the mid-club's at, and you can do the deal. But, like, getting at a certain angle when you're doing it so you can see where your bounces are hitting. Like, I don't see a lot of my opponents changing it up like that. Titan. King of Balls did not make it. Let's see if the Berserker can. Berserker. Max top spin. Max side spin. I want to be right up in that area right there. Three three. Three point three divided by one point three. Three rings. I'm going to put that forward distance back on there. Let's try and blast it. That was 7,000 rings great. I had it set up so that I could hit it a little great to the right, but that might be too great to the right. I got lucky I hit that whatever the hell that was and almost made it back. <coughs> Almost. Almost. I had a little bit of green to the left of me. I got lucky hitting that rock. Okay, we got a Nirvana shot here. What am I doing to the cup? I, I think... I actually think I, I need to do... I think I took this shot with my Nirvana and I was way off. I'm going to do a plus 50 wherever I'm at in my club. And see if I can work out the bullshit number that the, some, some golf class employee put into the variable slot. Close. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, there's Max, though. There's Max. 
There's mid. I'm at the three quarter mark. Let's do three backspin. Five point one divided by two is three point eight two rings. There's three. Eight two. In a dead center perfect. Get in the hole. Let's have one shot drop. <laughs> Everything's that close today. That close. Arr. All right. All right. I think I would have won the shootout though. I would have won the shootout. Nothing dropped. Nobody's fault but my own. But I mean, I just didn't get any drops today. That's how it works. Especially when you're a spot. Like, I don't play all the time like I used to. So, like, you need to get on a little streak where you can go out there and the holes are just, like, working out for you. You got to hit a lot of perfects, and I didn't hit a lot of perfects this week. 42nd. Look at that. What a crappy round. Just getting caught up in it. Let's see what's at the top. I think that there's going to be three thirties at the top. 28th start in 17th place. So that means you had to pick up two on a side. Picking up just the extra one got you in the top eight. 30 start at fifth. 30, 30, 31, 31, 33 at the top. Look at that. Bravo. Fantastico. There's a lot of holes out there you could pick up. Lots of holes. All right. There you have it. That was the uh, Mexican Valley tournament. And do I have a uh, club card trading? Let me get some bonus content here. Let me see what we we can see what we can pick today. Here we go. The Firefly, the Cataclysm, and the Falcon. I gotta go with the Falcon. I'm trying to get, I just got the Cataclysm to level seven. And I'm trying to get this Falcon to level seven. So, it'll be forever and a day before that Cataclysm get, gets to level eight. But right now, getting the Falcon to level seven, it could become a, it could become a, a mainstay of the bag. It, I think it, I think it starts to get into the conversation at level seven. Whether it makes the cut or not, I don't know. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. That was uh, that was the uh, whole the whole week the whole the way the week went. I I didn't have a lot of great. I had a lot of great shots. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Ring the bell. Do all that good stuff. Leave a comment. I will respond. <laughs>